Greetings, students, and welcome to the greatest institute of magical learning in the Four Kingdoms. I'm Tormented by Gnomes. I'll be your Game Master and host today, joined by my fantastic cast consisting of Crowen, Leg Day, Lemon Kiwi, and Necra. Crowen, thank you for uh, what's going on on a Thursday afternoon like this. This is, this is a little bit out of the ordinary. What would you normally be doing? What would I be doing? I don't know. Playing TFT, I guess. Playing a random game. Nothing nothing too out of the ordinary. Uh, the day, extra day was actually probably good for me because I'm sick. So give me another day to recover. Um, so I'm dying in real life and on <laughs> two characters in game, apparently. So uh, yeah, you know, it's just, it, it's, it's my day. It's my day it's today, one of those days. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Show off. Some of us are just here dying inside and we have to make a do with that. Just being British on the regular. <laughs> Feels so British, man. Oh, uh, leg day. It's not even midnight where you are. What's going on? It's not midnight Whoa! yet, baby. <laughs> Big Euro poor is finally not <laughs> terrible. Just moderately bad. And you know what? We take those. Hey, that's an upgrade. It is. Lemon, have you decided what you're cooking yet? Uh, I don't know, but people are going to watch me cook. That's all, all right. I got to say. It's got to be edible. <laughs> and honestly, a lot of the drinks from that book Literally. looked really good. So I feel like I just hope I don't get too drunk. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's for the it's for the lesson. Ride the line of the TOS right there. And how is the doggo? <laughs> good. He is sleeping, behaving, and let me touch him today. So we're making good progress. Excellent. And Necra, how are things? How you doing? Things are good. Things are good. Happy to be home for a brief while and to be back doing D&D. &D. So everything is lovely. And we love having you with us. Okay. There's kind of a lot going on right now with the uh, IOP Academy. And last we left our heroes, they traveled to the underworld, the deepest of the four kingdoms, because their former classmate and friend, Alexander, stole the Book of Dawn, the powerful artifact that anchors Ioth Academy, holds so much of its magic, and with that power, Alexander could do virtually anything. And given that he's in an alliance with two, maybe three infernals, the cruel gods, it's probably not a good thing that he has that. So... His former classmates and teachers have formed a strike force and traveled to the underworld to confront him. However, upon arriving, they realize it was a trap. The entire battlefield for almost a mile, that's like a quarter mile radius, has been turned into an enormous mirror, allowing creatures from the mirror world serving the infernal Imago to reach up and pull Ariana down into their universe. She is trapped on the other side of the mirror, and it is so wide that our heroes are utterly trapped if they can't fly, teleport, which is blocked by magic, or go back down through the crack that they came through, which is starting to freeze over as Alexander asks his ally to spare his herald to wield the power of the black ice. Upon entering the mirror, Ariana was confronted by her mirror self and outnumbered because the mysterious Nera, the beings who dwell on the other side, are there as well. She also saw inside the mirror world Naomi, Alexander's old friend from the refugee camp, who he lost long ago, who he once sacrificed to save Ariana's life and has now chosen to reverse that trade. Ariana is in dire straits in the mirror world, but elsewhere, the battle continues within the depths of the underworld. Anybody got any questions or anything before we uh, get back to the TPK? The what? Uh, it, total no. party kill. It's a... It's, uh, you know how they say wipe in MMOs? In tabletop, it's TPK, total party kill. You, you think we're all going to wipe right now? Nah, no, nah, you guys are fine, probably. Uh, it's most of us. Especially because you each get, um, actually, this dice gives one player one luck die. Okay, you have one luck die in a player pool right now. Oh, good. From a stream loons card. Oh, good. <laughs> Anyone else need anything before we get back to it? No, just fixing my camera while everything bugs out. Okay. <laughs> in the fine. frozen waste down here in the underworld the battle continues Sig watching his favorite apprentice get dragged through the mirror bellows through lungs not his own and slams with enormous fist against the ice calling out to Ariana desperately it cracks and fractures in places 
beneath his enormous fists. He tries to figure out, see if he can, if there's any way that he can join her on the other side of the mirror. Gets a 26 on the Arcana check. And... Realizes that he doesn't have any of his own magic that can work here. But... Actually, Sig is going to take out a scroll of teleport and start reading from it, deliberately messing things up. Unstable arcane energy gathers around Sig. Even though the sphere should prevent all extra-dimensional travel, Sig is attempting something desperate to find Ariana. Inril similarly yells out, calling to her, and then doing his duty as the head war mage of the academy, is going to continue fighting while waiting for his next move. What has he still got in the tank? Okay, that's gone. That's gone. None of these are good sounds. <laughs> Correct. They're not good sounds. You can have a like, oh, that's a, that's a power word kill. How, how dandy is it? Are there any of those <laughs> left in the tank? <laughs> okay. All right, there's a lot of ads in the area, and he would like to reduce the number on hand. So he is going to move up and shoot over the heads of everybody gathered at this undead former warlock now bound in service. He's going to go ahead and just cast a fireball, a fire bolt over the head because it does plenty of damage, and he just needs to get it done right now. Isn't he not worried about the mirror, the giant mirror that we're all standing on? Yeah, he's worried about it, but he also needs to sort of... He can't teleport out. He's going to yell to everybody to bail out through the crack before it closes. And actually, on that note, he's going to use his firebolt on the crack to just try to zap it and melt the ice back to slow the closing. And he yells at everybody to retreat. The Iron Butcher that's in the area, a horrific machine, a person melded with a machine by the designers of the clockwork cities, lumbers forward. Oh, sorry, Ariana, you don't exist anymore, bye. Whoop. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Until he is, uh, Garnet, refresh me, where are you? How far up are you? Um, me and Ariana were standing on the ice, mm -hmm. then it cracked, and then she a failed to save, went in, and I was still mm -hmm. mid-falling while on horse. Okay. You're also flying. Oh, yeah. But, like, that went away because you went away. Mm -hmm. Oh, true. You're right. <laughs> Unfortunately. Profoundly <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unlucky. <laughs> okay. The Morgek Executioner one of the designer's creatures, is going to swing. One of its arms has been replaced with a flail, and it's going to swing at you three times, Garnet. Me? From 10 Mid feet air? away. Oh, are, fuck. Are, are you uh, at least 10 feet of the ground? I don't know how far up, because it's like I was standing on the ice. No, I was flat. No, I was standing on the ice. Then it cracked and went away, so I don't know how thick the ice to the uh, It was only like 10 feet. Oh, okay. So I, you're de you're within range at that point. Yeah. Does a 13 hit you? Yeah. Okay. You take 21 bludgeoning damage. Oh wait, do I? You should have because I have armor. the saddle of the. Oh, you do have you do the that? saddle. Oh, mm -hmm. And the saddle is disadvantage. I gotta pull it up. Sorry. Yeah, pull up the saddle. There's something about uh, you can't be dismounted. Attack rolls against the mount have disadvantage, and then there is. Phantom Steed. Wasn't sure if there was something about this spell. Uh, no, I don't think there's anything. It's right. just uh, attacks against the mount, so I guess. Do you it's have fine. a reaction that you can use to protect yourself in any way? So what's the attack? Just like a physical thing? Yeah, it's just hitting you with a flail, a, a big ball and chain, just thwacking you with it, with and ridiculous like a, did force. You, did you say I had major? Or are, are you thinking I, I have major? No, I'm asking if you have any like reaction spells that you could use to protect oh, yourself. I, I thought like they said, did you uh, cast I, something? I, I thought that 
Then we would have mage armor on account of the, the scrolls of mage armor that we were given before all the battles. Mm. Yep, that's fair. You can have mage armor, which means oh. that a 13 is a miss because your armor class should now be 13 plus your armor, your dexterity modifier, which is? One. All right, so a 14 is going to hit. Second flail attack. <laughs> that one slams into you. Mia Hefel, God, the damn. master of juror, is going to fling his arcane barrier, that his ward that he summoned on himself, over you to absorb the damage. His reaction is gone, and so is his ward. The oh, shit. The executor Thanks. makes one more attack. This one hits you for 12 points of bludgeoning damage, Garnet. Oh, I'm good with that. Yeah, the Iron Butcher, the same sort of creature that killed your father, made a beeline for you. Minus 12. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> okay. Meanwhile... In the plane of mirrors. Ariana, uh, for some reason I have you next in the initiative order. Uh oh. Congratulations. <laughs> Am I even there? Do I? Do no, I? you are here. Oh. <laughs> the the Nera who is about to attack you didn't have an action to actually slit your throat. That was just about to do so. Right. The mirror behind you has been shattered. And you have a clone of yourself trying to grapple you and choke you out. And you have this silvery creature on the other side of you. And you have Naomi down here, stuck inside this desolate realm. You immediately gain inspiration from chat. And you gain an immediate clue or useful idea. So if something occurs to me, I'll go ahead and drop that. If not, and you want to figure out something, I'll go ahead and give you a hint. Hmm. What do you I... do? I think the first thing that I would try doing is snaring the mirror creature's arm to their body. Ooh, okay. Go ahead and drop that spell in chat. Snare. That I takes like one to minute to. Die. That takes a minute to cast. That is unfortunate. You, you set a trap with it. What about insight on how to cast it in less than a minute? Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. you're not making the trap. You're just doing like a shortened version of it. So you, your yeah. useful clue can be that. Okay, yeah, we can hash oh, that in for that. Go wait, ahead. what about? No, what about Thorn Whip? You could. To, Smack the mirror shard out of its hand. Yeah, you can do that. Go ahead and roll okay. Thorn Whip. Ta-da. A 14. Are you good with that? No. Okay, what do you want to do about it? Uh, <laughs> I'd like my attack to hit, please, DM. Thank you. <laughs> you have one inspiration already. <laughs> Because I don't think I have my adaptive die available because I Correct. think I used that last session. So I will use have... inspiration. All right. You're going to use that inspiration. It is Gonzo. Does she 23 is a hit. And we use oh, the first. That. And we use the first damage result. So that is going to be seven points of piercing damage as your thorn whip wraps around it. Let's see. Is that Ariana still love bless? Yes. Because that would be a plus D4. That's true. Roll, actually, yeah. So you can keep the inspiration because oh. you have the bless and your attack hits for seven points of damage. Oh, nice. Woo! Okay. Woo! <laughs> the rules Ooh, like, 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 so and much more like, okay? I look up from my accounting sheet like, mm. uh, Actually. <laughs> all right. Now I'm going to have you roll an arcana check against the Nera's dexterity to see if you can disarm it. Yes, you've successfully disarmed its shard dagger. Great. Well done. That was your action. Is there anything else that you want to do? I am going to grab the dagger and just try to run over to Naomi. Okay. Okay. Um, see, here's the thing. I don't think you, I don't think Mirror You can make an attack of opportunity against you because 
neither of you is armed with a weapon in your hands. I and neither mean. of you has the Warcaster feet, so you can't do attacks with... Uh... Yeah, so I think, you, I think you can just run past him because you disarmed him. And I picked up the blade, right? Mm -hmm. So I technically have a weapon. Correct. Later. Yeah, so you can make attacks <laughs> of opportunity, but they cannot. Which yeah, is so proficient with daggers, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Go ahead and move yourself. Okay. Um, You're the real one, the one without quotes. It's a five. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I just ran up to Naomi and I go, uh, are you Naomi? You're Naomi, can you, can you speak? Are you okay? I know you, I've seen your face. I've seen your face. You were in the mirror. I still am. I, I, yeah. How are you? How did you get in here? My friend Cryus was, was reading out the words on the mirror and then I ended up here. As you're Cryus? speaking, Ariana, a thorn whip hits you from behind. Well, yeah, stink. rude. Uh, a thorn whip does not hit you from behind. <laughs> <laughs> a thorn whip smacks the ground. Excuse right. me, we're right. over here. Rude. All right, well, so much for other Ariana's turn. You don't have any bonus actions, do you, Ariana? Uh, not that I can think of at the moment. Okay. Yeah, don't help out the enemy. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Here I am messing with your character sheet because it's clone version of you. Yeah, no, I think that's about it. All right, carry on. Yeah, I'm very, um, I'm a very boring character. There's not much <laughs> going on up there, and it's fine. It's gonna work in your uh, favor. I think so. This is see me versus me. See how that goes. <laughs> I can only be defeated by myself. So, you know, I Ariad is really studying the situation. Mm -hmm. Shrugs off the thorn whip attack from other Ariana. It goes back to her main focus, which is trying to figure out who Naomi is and how mm -hmm. she got here. Yeah, she was Alexandra's fr and Cryas's friend. Cryas was learning magic from that mirror. He activated its magic and she got pulled here. And you've been here ever since? I. How long has it been? I don't know. Well, um... It's been a while. I think it's been a while from what I've been told. Um, Alexander's been looking for you everywhere. I, I've seen him. Yes, I saw him too. We found your mirror in the refuge when a giant wind god came in and unfortunately wrecked everything. We did try to save your mirror but unfortunately... I remember falling. I remember... See he dropped me. No, I dropped you. Why? Well, I didn't mean to, but I got knocked out by something, and unfortunately that meant that I lost grip. Oh. And you fell. And I'm sorry. How am I going to go Because I know now? how much you mean. How do we get you home? I don't know. They won't let me out. And she looks over at the Nera. Who is making their way over? Does the Nera talk? Hasn't said anything yet. But I would know that it's Imago. Yes, it's an agent of, it's likely an agent of Imago. Naomi, have you tried just walking through one of the doors? I can't get out. It just it stops me every time. They can go back and forth, but I can't. You really think that the... the hmm. Ariana pauses for a moment, trying to assess the situation. Mm -hmm. And decides instead that it would be better to just ask Imago. Hey, Imago! Imago, I know you're in here. Imago, 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 Imago. How does this have to work? <laughs> Hello? 
Hello? It started off with some real mother calling their child, and you're like, Imago, did you clean your room? <laughs> uh, use the middle name. Now we know we're really in trouble. <laughs> Roll a D100 for me, please. Big money, no whammies? Okay. You sense something down here in the darkness, something enormous moving, rustling like the soft whisper of cloth and a titanic being rises up and that's where we're going to move on no. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> Athel will direct the Eldrin to grab Garnet on the carpet mm -hmm. okay Yeldrin's going to move into position to go ahead and grab Garnet on the carpet. Having just thrown his protective ward, he's going to run over to assist you getting to the ground. So he'll use his reaction refreshes. He uses his next reaction to catch you and to help you to your feet. Assuming that's what you wanted to do here, Garnet. Um, if you'll allow it. <laughs> Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Um, since I'm falling with the horse, mm -hmm. and the horse is a horse of course, of, of riding course. of riding capacity, mm -hmm. can I use my reaction to jump? Since I'm mid falling, jump off the the horse onto the carpet. But using physics, since I'm jumping and using force to jump off the horse, it would mm -hmm. now accelerate the horse towards the mirror and maybe cause a crack or shatter? <laughs> Roll horse an acrobatics bomb. check to make the jump. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make a dexterity check to catch her, please? Use your reaction and please? make a dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Sorry, mate. It's, uh, Bruh. it's fake. <laughs> Actually, I, it's it's a saving throw, so I get plus one d four. You do, you do. Eleven. Okay, you catch her, but she doesn't land on the carpet. You grab her hand, and she's dangling from the carpet. So she's not ah. going to take fall damage or anything. The sword, on. the horse hits the ground, takes at least one point of falling damage, and vanishes. Because that's what happens when the horse takes damage. Goodbye, horse. And the mirror is. Spotless. A tiny little hairline fracture. Fuck! <laughs> okay. Mia Hethil is going to direct the carpet to fly back to the gap, the crack, as instructed. Shoof. I'm a seventh strength gamer. <laughs> so, Seven? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. I'm okay. Two. Unless any of you do anything, he's going to continue to bail with you in tow. Not my turn. <laughs> Not All right, my turn. and oh you've God. used your reaction. Yeah, so I think <laughs> I think that's about it. Garnet, it's your turn. You are hanging from the carpet. Uh, is this like a use half my movement speed to climb? Like... Make an athletics check <laughs> to pull yourself up. You, you're like, oh, minus two strength. Uh, <laughs> give me an uh, athletics. <laughs> <laughs> give me. Athletics checks. This is better than my own. 11. Yeah, you're just barely able to pull yourself up and use half your movement. You're um, about to vanish down the hole. Uh, at this point, she, while, while she was falling, she probably didn't realize Ariana, or at least in the heat of the moment, mm -hmm. fell into the mirror. She probably also got clobbered while mm -hmm. falling. And she's getting caught, and she's climbing. She's like, what the fuck? Turns around, Ariana isn't there. And obviously looking at the mirror without looking at reflection. Or can I look at the mirror without getting sucked in? Or is that bad? Uh, if you look at the mirror, you are vulnerable to being absorbed. Even if it's, even if my reflection, I'm not- Even if you're just looking like parallel slash planar? If yeah. you can see your reflection, you're in danger. Okay, we're fine then. So since we're out of mm -hmm. reflection, I can- I just kind of want to peer the fa like see the fact that Ariana mm -hmm. isn't there anymore, more so. And you are cognizant of Sig banging on the enormous mirror, screaming Ariana's name, and Inril was bellowing her name as well. I think like as Athlor like grabbed her hand to pull her up, 
she is like gripping his hand and hasn't let go and is now shaking and has not stopped looking back at where Ariana was. Mm -hmm. And she is every like sound that she's making is just shaking. Like she, 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 she's, she's gone. I, 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 or I would, I, I can't, I can't leave her. We, we won't. I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm just, Sig might know, or I, and tomorrow, I, I'm not sure what to do. How close is Elle now? Is she on the same carpet? She's flying on her, under her own power. You are super, you're like right next to her. Uh, uh, sending spell. Uh, do you, do, Athlor, do you have a sending spell? Oh, it's going to be too late. Uh, El now, uh, Master El now, uh, Wabi, uh, sending spells, anyone? Yeah, somebody here there definitely has it. Uh, look, I'll figure out who's going to nod to you in a moment. I think it might be Sig, actually. Looks at Athelor. Um, uh, if we can't save her, there's always one person that will get you out of trouble, and that's family. We can call Nenri. I think it's Nenri, right? The Fae chick. Is that, is that her? Neve. Ah, uh, Eve. You know, her. Uh, we, family can bail her out. If we call her, she can maybe come help. But if, if Ariana dies, by the time she gets here, she's just going to kill us for getting Ariana killed. Uh, this, they're doing something to stop teleporting in here. Uh, Law check. Do we know if that affects the underground as well? Roll Arcana. I like ground. <laughs> ground is good. Uh, ground good. You're dealing with the Book of Dawn here, which is a force of magic that violates most of the normal rules. It's a heavy, heavy unknown territory. Athel looks a little bit distant when Garnet says, we know family will help. <laughs> <laughs> I just, oh, she can't get here. And we can't go... If I if I go in the mirror, my my other self might kill her too. I, I don't know what to do. That's a lot. I don't get item interactions on not my turn, right? Depends on what you're gonna do. I'll hear you out. Uh, I I I want to look at our uh, Alexandrian mirror. If it's small. Okay. You you want to just look at it? Uh, yeah. I kind of want like off axis look at it, but like mm -hmm. see if there's anything inside that's like not just a reflection of the chamber mm. since this is one that we know has a connection to Alex slash right. his origin while this is happening a horde of small of awful little creatures that are basically just walking mouths swarm in <laughs> approaching uh, when you look at the mirror at an off angle you see a silk robe just passing by, as if it zoomed in really close on a silk robe, just flowing past. Not something you're used to seeing. So not Elven. Not Elven, correct. Athelor kind of like does a, a like a cautionary tilt towards Garnet, like don't look at the reflection, but look past it, kind of thing. See if she recognizes the robe if it. Shows up for her. Roll an Arcana check with advantage, please, Garnet. She's twenty-seven. Ah, <laughs> that is a sign or visual that has been associated with Imago themselves. So he's just holding up the symbol of Imago in his mirror. No, Shall he's holding up the mirror, and oh. it sees like Imago's robes, one of Imago's forms, just passing oh. through. And this was the mirror that, like, Naomi was imprisoned in. And she would have seen Athelor get it miniaturized and stuff so that it mm -hmm. can't eat them. Because <laughs> it's not big enough. Uh, it's the mirror... Mirror Keeper is in the mirror with Ariana and... Do you think Naomi's there too? Uh, I don't know. We can't look into it too deeply. 
Oh yeah, what did? Oh yeah, because last session Alex left off with saying something about the trade, right? I'm trying Indeed. to remember. So uh, we know Crow, that he's Do you have those trade? words? I forget. Uh, what did I say? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so something on the lines of, uh, and to think in the moment, I believe that you are worth more than the years of being desperate, lost, confused. I see I chose wrong. There's time to repair my mistake. Uh, Harold, if you would, you want to help Naomi after all, so help her. Okay. And based on mirror slash infernal knowledge, if you break a mirror, does that mean they can't, things can't come out of it anymore? Yeah, that one mirror is no longer a passageway back and forth. If you break all the mirrors that are connected to each other in one constellation of mirrors, then anyone inside that mirror constellation is trapped, as far as anyone knows, forever. Also, all of you gain the benefits of haste for one round. Two Ooh. actions? Yes. Does that start on my turn or next it Starts turn? on your turn. You get it right now. Oh. Double move speed, two actions. Uh, would like to hold an action. Okay. I would like to hold a dominate monster on whoever emerges out of the mirror that Ariana fell in. Okay. Because, and we'll instruct Athelor like, well, whoever comes out of there, we're going to have time to figure it out. And is going to hold a dominate monster. And I don't have like another action. Um, you can shoot a cantrip a or something. Spell. Oh, yeah. Uh, who's and what's what enemies are nearest? Just One of those these... horrible little gobbling things is right here. They okay. just ran from the edges of the ice. That's 20 feet, motherfucker. Uh, we'll just like use a message cantrip to message whoever has the sending spell mm -hmm. instructions on the plan. Okay. The horrible little creatures move in and then inside the mirror verse. It is the Nera's turn. However, Hello. Hello. From the depths, Ariana, off to the side, an enormous, just titanic sized creature wearing fine silk robes, including a like a cloaked hood, and where a face should be is just an enormous mirror, probably as big as a two story building. Just. Hello. 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 You are here to be exchanged. Here to be exchanged. Here to be exchanged. As Alexander had told me, but are you actually going to go through with the exchange? Why yes. Why yes. What reason would I have to be duplicitous? Because you haven't proven that you are honest. I need prove nothing need to you. Nothing. You're about to die. You're about to die. You're about to die. You're about to die. But there's two of me. Yes. 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 One of you will die. One of you will die. My you will live. My you will live. My you will live. My you will live. Oh. Why? To work my will. To work my will. To work my will. What if I did instead of your that one? Hmm. hmm. What are you offering? Are interesting. You offering? Interesting. 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 Better, perhaps. Better, perhaps. Better, perhaps. What are you offering? Well, me? what are you offering? Me? What are you offering? Me? I am me and am a better version of me because I am me and that is not me. So how about you give back Naomi and me to the real world and we'll go from there. Hmm. Trade off. What do I get out of this? Well, I 
you you still get my clone here, right? Hmm. So that there's can't leave you unless you leave die. Unless you die. I'm afraid those are the I'm rules of this place. But the reflection is the reflection just as good as the real as thing. As thing. Prove it. Imago will gesture to you, your clone version of you, and using the infernal power of being a rule-breaking god-level creature, immediately give your version of you another turn. And your version of you casts Lightning Bolt at you. Roll a dexterity saving throw, please. I am also going to use Absorb Elements. Okay, burn that spell reaction. slot. And... I need to roll a dexterity saving throw, is what you said? Correct. You have advantage on this. You do. Because oh. of haste. <laughs> the wind is at your back. And plus 1d6. Okay, so you saved, so you only take 14 points of damage, and you absorb four of it, so you take 10 points of lightning damage. Okay. She knows everything she knows you know. Everything she can do everything you can do. And she looks exactly she like looks exactly We have like the appearance. Exactly the, the substance the appearance. is immaterial. Is immaterial. But I know my backstory. So does she. So does she, she knows everything, she knows every, memory, every memory, down every memory, to the memory, last smallest, last sensation. smallest last sensation. sensation. Well, then she must know, as you must know, that I have ties to the underworld. Yes. yes. That's what's going to make you so much more useful. So much more useful. but she doesn't get all the same benefits that I How do. How do you know that? You all know? of your magic, all she wields. All, all, all of your secrets, she, secrets. she knows. She knows. What, possibly what possibly makes you possibly any makes better you than, you her. than her? No, I'm sorry, I would like to cash in on my insight here. Okay. Are there actually any differences between me and the mirror clone? Uh, there shouldn't be. Under normal circumstances, when a mirror clone is created, they literally have all of the items on you, all your memories, all your special abilities, all your knowledge. The only thing is, they're, if you're right-handed, they're left-handed, and they are either your alignment opposite, or they are servants of Imago. And at that point, unless you have something you're about to say, Ariana. No, I'm digesting that. Okay. At that point, the Nera steps down to sort of confront and corner you. And from this passageway, a wind blows around you. Warm, comforting, it smells like dirt after rain. It smells like fresh flowers growing, the grass in the spring. It smells like fire. and it swirls around you, comforting you at your back. You are not alone. I am not alone. Who in the world is that? Standing behind you are your imaginary friends from childhood. One you called Barney and one you called Trish. They are not standing behind your doppelganger. The one whose Trish lays a hand on you and appears to be made completely from flame. And you feel that charge of heat warming through your bones, that inner strength that you always sort of offloaded onto her back when you were young, before when your memories were still forming. And it's not your turn, so we'll go ahead and leave it there. Bruh.
I've been prepping this for a while. <laughs> okay, uh, a couple of cards to go over. Lady Luck. The party now has a pool of four luck dice to spend in this session. So I'm going to say each of you has one, okay? Okay. Each of you has one that you can roll. Chaos Fairies has also been played, and though it's extremely unlikely that the Chaos Fairies themselves will make an appearance in this battle, let's see. They, their card does have another effect. A strange loud noise is heard somewhere nearby, distracting an enemy. So that's going to be disadvantage on one enemy's thing. All right. The battle mages rush out to engage the horrifying little mon- Actually, they're, they're on their uh, magic carpets. They're just going to go ahead and open fire with a barrage of cantrips, blasting the horrible little creatures as they approach. Any others in range? They've got pretty long range. All right, cool. That'll do. Oh, I have two more. I don't want, again, I don't want this to be the them, the NPC show. Okay. Speaking of the NPC show, <laughs> Wabi is going to already used disintegrate. Bobby is going to use. Okay, that only works within 30 feet. Hmm. Damn. All right, well, it's going to be Alexander's turn next. Alexander, go ahead and start taking your turn, keeping in mind your limitations in this scene. Yeah, he's just going to talk some shit, basically. That's about yeah. it. <laughs> feel, feel free to talk some shit. If okay. you have some shit to talk. Uh, yeah, since I think as project image, you can move double, you just kind of like tauntily, tauntingly like chase after, um, the party as they attempt to flee mm -hmm. and like as he passes by, um, Mason and Sventisco mm -hmm. would say to Sven, um, uh, I would say, now we see who's really made something of themselves after all. And um, keep on going towards where Athlor and Garnet are. And I, I guess like probably overhearing at least some of um, what Garnet was saying towards uh, Athlor, we'll say towards Garnet. Leave her be, Garnet. This is what she wanted, after all. You wouldn't deny her that, would you? This, this is not what Ariana would, have, Ariana would have wanted. This is not even what you want. And is <laughs> continuing to try to focus on this spell. Okay. Bobby can't not cast that. What was happening in Alexander's wake, swarming around him, were the three Alips approaching and muttering the chaotic uh, evils of Zethius into the minds of all those present. Each Alep can target three people, forcing them to roll wisdom saving throws. Mason and Santisco, you are each going to have to roll four wisdom saving throws. Four wisdom saves? Uh-huh. Okay. As the Alep's are just... <laughs> and it's completely... Uh -oh. Let's see. oh fuck! This is you're blessed. You can add one d four to each of those rolls. Oh yay! Oh yeah. And haste is oh. Haste doesn't help with your brain. Oh, I'm lucky. Uh, Damn. Oh. The first one and the second one. Hold on. Where'd my Alep go? Alep, come back. It's a DC 14, so those ones, you just flat okay. out fail the first two, you six, three. You failed the first three. So yeah. you're going to go ahead and enjoy a heaping helping of psychic damage, unless you want to burn one of those luck dice that uh, was given out earlier. Uh, that's true. They have some luck dice. Also, well Kiss of the Scald. All of you can heal 2d4 plus two hit points right now, and all of you gain one point of inspiration. 
Nice. Nice. Okay, Ooh. I will one luck die. Okay, I will save another one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you make two saves? Yes. And do you want to burn the inspiration you just got? Um. Hmm. Yeah, might as well. Just okay, go ahead and reroll a failed save. Nope. Deeply, profoundly unlucky. So you failed two, right? Yes, failed two. Okay. You take 11 points of psychic damage. And to make matters worse, uh, do you have a melee weapon? Uh, no. The only weapon that Mason has is the conjured bright bow. Well, you can't make a melee attack with that, so you're fine on that front. Okay. And Sventisco is the other target, and she failed two saves. No, she has Bless on as well, so she failed one save. So she suffers eight points of psychic damage and lashes out at you with her claws. Does a 10 hit? At me? Yeah. Oh, no. No, it doesn't hit. Okay. Yeah, that draconic studies has granted her, uh, tapped into some of her heritage, and she can manifest dragon claws, which she oh, lashes out to try to hit you. Did you take that damage and then heal that damage? The fuck, she's so cool. Uh, yeah, I took the. Uh, actually, I didn't put it. Oops. Okay, I took the damage. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> okay, uh, Athalor and. Garnet, you're in range of exactly one of the Alps, so I need you to both roll one wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, question about Eldritch Ward, um, mm -hmm. about re-rolling saves. Can I, do I use that after I made my initial roll, or do I have to call it before the roll? I will let you use it after you make your initial roll, and don't forget that you have your luck die, and don't forget that you have inspiration from uh, Kiss of the Scald. Okay. I'm good. Yep, you have successfully saved. Good job. Athlor. <laughs> I don't think I have. <laughs> that is correct. So you, unless you're going to burn that, spend a resource on that, you are the lucky winner of five points of psychic damage. And do you have a melee? Oh, your reaction's already used, so you're fine yep. on that front. And All I right. don't have a melee weapon as far as I know. Cool. I stab you with my quill. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be good. <laughs> Oh, what's in a book? <laughs> Sventisco shakes her head, looks at you with horror, Mason, but there's no time to talk about it. Shh. The two of you are on a magic carpet, yes? I believe so. Okay. With, um... Who's this next one? The, the sage? That's the sage, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, she shakes her head to clear her thoughts, and then she's going to... Oh, actually, didn't the sage, like, disappear because the mirror happened last time? So the sage like, used greater thing? invisibility. Okay, so, so she's still with you. Still there. Or, yeah. Okay. She's still with you. She's just invisible. Gotcha. Cool. All right. She's going to shoot an acid splash at the machine. Uh, that's silent image. She's going to shoot an acid splash at the machine, and she's going to yell, get us out of here. And that'll be a dexterity saving throw. And the thing saves. It does not take damage. Not the best turn. And now Alexander did his thing. Chad Chaddington. The next hero who's going to be up is Mason. Chad is just going to continue to beat the crap out of this thing, making two attacks with his flail. Uh, he no longer has advantage. There's a clang and a bang, and he has gravely injured this thing. It's now sparking and twitching and smoke and steam are leaking out of it. So on its turn, it is going to breathe fire in its last desperate action. In a 20 foot cone, which hits all of these poor staffs. So Sventisco, Mason, I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw, please as it just spews fire with its last dying everything. Bless you pass. Nice. Mason, well, I'm, I have some more things to go through, but go ahead and start taking your turn. Okay. Um, question. When mm -hmm. Sventishko 
clawed what? at me was it like uh, also you still take like half damage uh, you take nine Burger damage take? yes because okay. you felt the same okay. urge you actually failed your save so you felt the urge to attack her but you didn't oh, have a melee right. weapon so it didn't work so you both experienced the exact same sure. thing I guess so yeah, if you failed, like, if you succeeded, you're gonna still take half damage. So nine damage. Go ahead. Nine. Cool. Mm -hmm. I guess Mason kind of like looks towards Fantisco, almost like in horror of like, oh my god, what are they making us do? Um, but I guess the plan is get towards the exit. So mm -hmm. you can, can control Mason the flying control carpet. The... Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um, and how fast is it moving? Again? Speed forty. Forty. Cool. Do, do, do. How far can we get? I guess like towards where they're all at. Mm-hmm. Um So I'll say to Fentisco, uh come on, let's 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 get out of here. And start flying all over. Alright, I'll move everybody together. Oh yep. Zoop. Look at this pile of main characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, okay. Well, I guess we'll can take a, a bright bow shot. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I guess. Who do you want to shoot? Uh, action. Um. I guess the thing that Chad Chaddington still. Okay. Uh, the Clockwork Abomination. Uh, yeah. Twenty-five. Absolutely okay. a hit. Cool. And it's radiant damage. Your. Oh, glowing rune arrow pierces directly into its between its glowing red eyes and it shuts down does it explode oh. upon death that'd be cool uh oh <laughs> it explodes upon death oh, no. it explodes all creatures within 10 feet have to roll a saving throw that's fine that'll be fine i'm sure yeah it's gonna hit chad it's gonna hit the allips it's gonna not hit this guy and it's gonna hit the executor okay so oh, it explodes cool. for 4d6 points of damage. Chad is a Chad. He'll be fine. The Ifrit is completely immune because it's fire damage. So, you know, screw you. <laughs> Alright, and Mason, that's a bonus action to fire that bow. Is there anything else you're doing? Uh, true. Uh, do, 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 for... Because you moved... You bonus acted. Action will. Um. I guess we'll just chaos bolt towards uh one of the. I guess this. I don't remember what it's called. But the thing next to the. Afrit. It's an uh, yeah. It's one of the iron butchers. Go ahead and shoot iron the butchers. shot. Cool, cool. It'll just be a first level chaos bolt. Uh, natural one, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you want to use a resource on that? What do you have? What do you have left? Uh, I have mean, some just natural lucky die. Okay. Which, yeah, we, we, we could do that, sure. Uh, 17. The 17? Ooh, this, this is a new monster. I haven't played with this guy much except to beat the crap out of Garnet. A 17 <laughs> is a hit. What type of damage are you inflicting? Okay, the first damage roll, two and a six, so cold or poison will do cold damage. Resistant to cold. Rip. Takes half damage. Doink. Okay, Garnet, the sage answers your message. The sage is going to reach out to Ariana. Oh, oh she's going to message Ariana instead yeah. of the fey mommy? Well, actually, she, she has the sending spell. What do you want her to do? Well, I was thinking if we... Hold Fey Mommy to just go directly to Ariana's since in order to counteract the anti TP of the area, could the Fey Mommy just go into the mirror plane and like locate Ariana and help her? Neve is not a creature of the mirror. She couldn't just go there of her own will. She would have to have access to a linked mirror to go there. Very few creatures can just come and go from the mirror plane. Then, what can we do to help Ariana with the sending spell? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Any ideas? I think I have a way to force. Uh, I there is a way we can force our way through the mirror. But if we do that, everyone who goes through will be duplicated, which is incredibly dangerous. I cannot go. I cannot allow 
Imago to have access to what I know and what I can do. I have a scroll of mirror walking. Would that be the same mechanic? Would it? Yes, would but it, it wouldn't use a ninth yeah. level spell slot, so it's better. Okay. Can but we use again, it on Hey Mommy to help her walk? She there? is not going to. Neve is very unlikely to want to put herself into danger, into harm's way like that. She normally oh, has. She has people for that. I don't. The exact nature of that connection is unknown. Neve, I think Neve values herself above all. We could try to entreat her. We could ask for her aid and see what happens. Plan B is maybe asking the sage's thoughts on unbinding Athelor's mind. Oh. To do that is to invite a terrible threat to Anakra once again into the world. I don't think we can allow that. Um, prior apocalypse things, do you have any items that would be useful for Ariana in that world? If we go there, if we th put something in there, it'll be duplicated. What, but any tools? The only thing that won't get duplicated is a mirror. Mirrors themselves are not replicated when you enter the mirror world. <sighs> we just gotta trust that she can get out. I, I mean, uh, we do trust her, right? We're just trying to give her the best chance. I... I guess we just need to make sure that when she gets out here, everything is okay, slash not filled with mirror clones. Right. I'll keep focusing and disregard the sending then, but if it does get to that point, having Uncle help us is better than being dead. <laughs> At least it's a risk. We can give us a chance. You can't see her face, so you can't tell that she doesn't agree with you. <laughs> oh, uh, Athelor offers to be blank space where the sage presumably is talking from the mm -hmm. uh, the mirror since she won't she she can just look into it because she's invisible. Mm -hmm. Athelor, this is the mirror that is this the mirror Naomi came from or was lost yeah, into the, the one from Alex's place in the refuge. Okay. The scroll. After all of his light messenger bag, which one? <laughs> the mirror walking scroll. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay, the quill. It's very gooey right now. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I forget, what magic is it filled with? Soul. An entire mason jar's worth of soul goo. Okay. She is going to start reading off to you a very complex series of edits to the scroll while she holds the miniaturized mirror. There may be one thing we can do. Keep retreating. And then she's just going to start walking you through. Roll an Arcana check, please, Athelor, to keep up with this nonsense. Okay, you're doing an excellent job of keeping up with the nonsense. All right, nonsense. Yay! Okay. Mason, uh, you took your turn. Athelor, it's your turn. The edits have been made. You can cast the spell if you want. I have a haste action, right? So you do have a haste action. Um, Mason, you would have gotten the benefits of a haste action as well if you wanted to just take another, uh, like a cantrip or something. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose so. Uh, just, hmm. I think it's like Restoration Ward, um, Sventisco. Okay. So that's going to absorb uh, damage if she gets hit, right? Uh, heals 1d4 after the damage is dealt. Okay. Yep. All right. Athelor, go. And don't forget about your your friends. Yes, my friends. Uh, so, I don't need to do a save because I'm not touching the mirror. Uh, mm -hmm. Right. The scroll's ready to go. The sage is saying that it's good to use now? Yes. Okay. So I'd like to propose to you that my additional action is Athelor attempting to um, essentially mentally Rolodex for changes made for copying into a spellbook later, like spending an entire okay. action just trying to 
I death tick it. Because his brain is moving at the speed of... Yeah, so an intelligence roll, maybe? Yeah, give me an intelligence roll. Yeah, you've got it memorized. Cool. I activate the spell. Okay. You cast the spell and the surface of the mirror shimmers and ripples. And then you see inside of it the scene in the mirrorverse. And perhaps more importantly, Ariana sees the mirror that was shattered rippling open. And I think that's it for Athelor, right? Yep, that's my two actions. All uh, right, well, and it, time it for your... About, time go for ahead. the homies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. You should have access to their character. Do you have access to their character sheets? Yep. With the, the old shift double click? Yes. Is there any uh, additional stimuli they're getting from now being on a seemingly open mirror, as it were? Nothing is happening to them at this moment. So they're not getting pulled through? Correct. Okay. Uh, the Ifriti. Uh, these guys were seen to be. The Warlocks were seen to be. Uh, weak to flame, right? They are not resistant to it. Mm. Okay. They're that's, invulnerable, that's but they're probably... also not resistant. Also, they're wielding hex blades, and this one just chopped the crap out of your boy Chad. Oh, damn. Uh, how hurt is this guy looking? Oh, no, a, a dirty 20 misses. Get rolled. <laughs> Play armor, baby. All right, uh, this other one is going to attack your Ifrit. Actually, two of them are going to attack your Ifrit. Uh, what was your last question? I want to make sure that I'm multitasking effectively here. Uh, how are these two looking in terms of HP? Uh, yeah, this one here is bloodied. Okay, cool. Also, the elemental gives off light, so I've gone ahead and made that change. Nice. These two are going to attack your freets. They don't have the movement to flank. A 13. A 7. A 21. And an 11. Do any of those hit the Afrit? Only the 21. Okay, the Afrit takes 22 damage, 11 slashing and 11 force. This is magical weapon damage. So minus 22? Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Uh, so I've got flanking attacks on these guys, right? Yes, you do. The, the one that's weak, the mm -hmm. Afrit is going to try and pummel the shit out of them with the uh, with the old fire scimitar. They get okay. double attack here. Oh, those are both with advantage. Damn. Uh... Wow. All right, well, I've, we'll take the I've 28 and the first damage advantage. result. <laughs> so that's uh, 19 points of damage. Chop! If 17 hits, that's two attacks. Because <laughs> uh, it gets double attack. Well, I was going to roll that into your advantage. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so roll the second one with advantage this time. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, yep. Well, there we go. I found the advantage thing on mm -hmm. the non on the non <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. That one gets cloven in twain by a mighty burning blade. Splat. Is this our Una? Yes, that yeah. is your Una. Cool. Then, Una can uh... come back as needed. <laughs> <laughs> Una, come back. And uh, I guess my other fire elemental is going to try and rough up the other guy. All right, roll the attacks with gets, advantage. You're still flanking. Double attack as well. 21 points of fire damage, and it is on fire. Oh, that's a, that's a great success. <laughs> All right, the Wardens, they get a combat boost from Streamloose cards, protecting the innocent. They're going to move in, flank... Uh, while keeping their eyes forward, they're still working on retreating. And they're going to move their flying carpets into a defensive pattern to block 
anyone from attacking the Archmages. And yeah, this, this flotilla here is going to continue to pull back and not look down at the ground. Okay. Sig is still out of the loop about Ariana's resummoning. Or about the fact that a window has been opened. And is going to run across the ice towards the enemies. With a roar. A bellow of anger. The ground shaking the ice just barely, the mirror just barely fracturing in small little places. Not a huge shatter that spreads across the whole way. Just little bits and pieces here and there. And let's see, would be plenty knowledgeable about this thing right here. So, yep, we're just going to go ahead and cast Chain Lightning. It's oh. time to go full Palpatine. The next hero will be Ariana. Which, in fact, after... Oh, boy. Yeah, don't worry about it. Everything's just going to be fine, I'm sure. Okay, I'm just going to cast this Chain Lightning. And then I'm going to handle everything else off sides. Okay. Ariana. Your two childhood friends are standing behind you. They have your back. You can feel those winds that surge up around you, the same power that accidentally blows things up, the same power that makes things grow from within the earth, side by side with you. You're faced by these two and the enormous mirror face of Imago himself. And the mirror right here, the one through which you emerged, ripples. It doesn't become whole, but you can see it. It's as if liquid silver fills it across, and you look out and you see Athalor. You see Garnet. You see your friends. Ariana feels almost overwhelmed with the sense of security that she has knowing that Barney and Trish are right there. She closes her eyes. She takes a deep breath. And she is going to take Naomi's hand mm -hmm. and she's going to dart towards the mirror. Okay. That is rippling. As you run forward, you feel a cool, comforting hand grab your wrist and hold you back. As this green forest figure with leaves rustling past it holds you and makes eye contact. The flaming figure of Trish reaches across towards Naomi, strokes her cheek, and then sears fire directly, just a searing blast of heat directly into Naomi, who shatters into a thousand shards of glass. Damn. Trade canceled. She's not real! And yet, she never left. If she couldn't leave, that means the real Naomi might be out there somewhere. Like in the real world? No, stuck inside the mirror. Stuck because, inside here? Yes. The, your mirror, as soon as you leave, as soon as you go out that mirror, your mirror self stops existing. The fact that Naomi's mirror self still exists means that the real Naomi is still in here somewhere. Exists and can't get out. The real Naomi is still somewhere here. So... Upon seeing that Ariana will pause, mm -hmm. I think she comes to a pretty immediate conclusion, though, that this trade can't happen because she doesn't know where the real Naomi is. She's still going to rush over to the mirror, though. Mm -hmm. And as she does that, she's going to look Imago straight in the eyes. 
or fate. I was going to say, a big round eye. If he had them. (laughs) Yeah. Or, you know, look look towards Imago. You think you could pull one over on us? On Alex? Where's Naomi? That's not her. Still mine. Still mine. Still mine. I'm, no I'm no fool to put fool your prize so your close prize within, so your grasp. Within, within your grasp. But it's not even my prize. It's Alex's prize. I see you your, heart, your heart, your heart, Ariana. Ariana. I feel I everything feel you feel everything right now. You feel right now. You would have risked your life risked for her. For her. For her. It was worth putting her there. As bait. 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 Now about this now, about mirror. This. About mirror. And the massive figure begins reaching out towards the shimmering mirror that is open up towards your friends. I have double movement speed though, right? So And you can theor- dash. Yeah. <laughs> For only this round. Yeah, so theoretically I could get there before Imago. You can try. Imago's basically a god. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a acrobatics check, an athletics check, or a dexterity saving throw. Your call. Okay. We're not getting audio through the mirror, are we? Correct. <laughs> yeah, they got We're... built-in Bluetooth speakers. In the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's synced with your local device. Oh, I meant to be on normal. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, that's okay. You rolled a seven. You got anything in the tank? I think that one might be a lucky dice win. Yeah, I do have a lucky dice. Now, okay, go ahead and roll it. A nineteen. You slip past with supernatural speed and you run directly back to the other side. As you run by, your mirror self reaches out to grab you. I would like you to roll an acrobatics check against yourself. First for your mirror self, then for you. Okay. Sure. Here's your mirror self getting a 19 to grab you. Oh, and roll your what? roll. What? That's not for me? I thought you were rolling for me. No, nope. I'm, oh, ha- I'm gonna have you roll twice. Okay. And your roll is an 18. Oh. Can you not roll a deck save against a grab? Nope, it's an opposed acrobatics check. Mm. So just as you're starting to run past, you are grabbed by yourself and, and stopped short. You still haven't used an action this round. And also everyone on the other side can see this. And you can also see an enormous sil- like quicksilver hand reaching towards the mirror to just close it. Oh no. Uh... Oh, 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 I forgot. I forgot. It's perfect. Guess what card got played? Ariana's Snacks, which can give you either healing or plus 1d4 on a skill check due to being well fed. Oh, my God. I'm going to roll that 1d4 right now. Do it. Do it. So here's the thing. In the case of a tie, the status quo remains. Actually, it's meet or beat in that case. But when it's opposed skill checks, the status quo holds out. Meaning that your mirror self grabs you, desperate to survive. The moment you leave, she dies. So just panicking, pleading with you to stop, reaches up and grabs you by the hem of your robes. But you're able to just tear past. You, there's a snagging sound or ripping sound is just a little chunk of that fabric rips out. And you dive back through the mirror to the other side. And for those of you over here, (laughs) 
Ariana is back. So it activates my dominate monster. <laughs> okay. Ariana, roll a saving throw. <laughs> no a wisdom way. saving throw. Oh, are you joking? Nope. And you plus uh, one d4. Does a 16 save? Uh, where do I see? It's either on the item or I it's still yours. save is 16. Then it saves. Meet me if it meets it beats. Which is fine because I just wanted the chance to identify that that was the real Ariana anyway, and I was gonna drop it. So yeah. Well, you see, false Ariana because of the exact way that you guys did this, shattering into pieces behind her. You oh, also right. see the moment she passes through the mirror, those other two figures that were with her vanish. You're alive. I, have, I I'm okay, but I have to go back. It's... No. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't understand. N Naomi is there, but she hasn't left yet. I shattered her mirror clone. She's not there anymore. So, but we don't know where Naomi is. Alex, this is what you wanted, isn't it? As Ariana looks up towards Alex, shouts it, and then just turns tail and heads back into the mirror. I still have movement. Gnome's muted. Can you run through the mirror vo voluntarily? Wiggle, wiggle. Yes, you can. It's still open. And so Ariana dives directly back into the mirror. Swoosh. Have you even used an action yet? Mm, nope. Okay. As soon as you enter, your mirror self reappears. Does this one have the same exact memories as the old one that shattered? No, but it has all of your memories. So I would know what that mirror clone, that that mirror clone was desperate to survive. Mm-hmm. Okay. You. Other Ariana, you're coming with me. This way. You want to survive, don't you? Then we have to figure out how to help out Alex get Naomi back. It is impossible it unless is you impossible. intend to unless stay here forever, stay here Ariana. Forever. Your reflection cannot Your reflection leave, while you, cannot leave while, you cannot while you live. There is no other way. There is no other way. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to figure that out later. In the meantime, Ariana will dart down the tunnel that Barney and Trish popped out of. Okay. And so they immediately appear next to you as soon as you enter again, by the way. And so the three of you run down the tunnel. Meanwhile, back in the waking world. God damn it. <laughs> Mia Hethel is going to very much try to leave and politely suggest that everybody GTFO right now. And is unless is stopped, is going to direct the carpet down the rapidly narrowing gap. While hurling firebolts against the side to just try to desperately keep it open. Is this not the area with the spire and all that? So we were just not trying to find Alex and... No, remember, the whole spire was fake. It was all made of the Herald's um, ice. It was all fake. And Alex isn't even here. He's just used a, a projected image to appear here. The whole point was to trick you into this mirror trap. Right. And But when me and Ariana tried to locate Alex mm -hmm. that one time, it did say he was in the underworld. But mm -hmm. we don't... Do we just not know if that was... We were locating an illusion or a real person? You don't know. When you cast locate person down here, it led you up. Previously, you had seen a vision of him in the underworld with the Infernals. Okay, we'll ask uh, that guy with the name I can't say, Mr. Nondarud, what mm -hmm. his freaking plan is for Ariana and finding Alex. She went back into the mirror. At this point, how can we help her? We must save those we can. We must leave immediately. In the Book of Dawn? 
This, it's not here. This battlefield is tilted against our favor. We must retreat. Looks this entire Athelor thing was a trap. Looks at Athelor to see what he thinks. If he wants to leave without Ariana or not. She went back in. What can we do? I'm not leaving her. I left Alex when I thought that was the right thing to do, when he made his decision to stay with Ioth and get himself killed. I'm not making that same mistake again. Ariana can make her mistakes, but I'll stand by it and make sure she survives through it. Then drop me off. No. <laughs> okay, can turn, I get guys? a bit of clarification of how the how the weird mirror walk spell, the augmented the augmented one, is working? It turned the mirror that you had. It forced it to link to this constellation of mirrors because of its pre existing pre existing connection to Naomi. Okay. Normally, it lasts for and it lasts for exactly one round. Meaning that at the end of Athelor's turn, it's going to close again. Unless he stopped. Actually, yeah. At the end of this turn, unless he stopped, Mia Hethil is piloting the flying carpet full speed down the tunnel. Garnet, so we've got the go mirror ahead. and we've got the means to access Ariana through this. For one round, yes. But I've but I've memorized the augmented spell. Right. We don't need to stay here to be able to access Ariana, or at least that chamber. All we're doing here is inviting the combat on a in a zone we are drastically under able to have any influence in. We need to you just use this and take it with us. I can open this again, but we're just gonna lose so many people if we stay here. And then there's going to be, we can just continue trying to rescue them and continue losing more people. Oh, is it my turn? Yes, it's your turn, Garnet. What would you like to do? How, like, convinced, or is, like, is everything that Athlor is saying, like, line up with her knowledge of how mirror shit works? According to your knowledge, this particular mirror that you have right here is the link to because it's Naomi's mirror, so it should be the link. However, again, it's going to close in a round. It's going to close imminently. He can recast it, but not infinitely. Yeah, I have one more of this. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no, I did it from a scroll this time, so I still have two mm -hmm. yes. spell scrolls. Yes, so he can do it twice more. So How you big have is the hole that we're trying to go through? Is it enough to fit like everyone through one round or? It, it's the miniaturized mirror. So it has to be demon. Actually, when Ariana emerged through it, that would have deminiaturized it. So it's full size again. I'm at the hole, the ice, whole ice thing. Oh, the whole ice. Yeah, it's it's about like 10 feet wide at this point because the Herald's ice is closing in around it. Okay. But it is wide enough that you can all go through it if you bail it, right now. It'll take like one round for us to all get mm -hmm. out. Except for Mason. Actually, no, Mason's there too. I think the only person who isn't like in position right now and needs to be extracted is the Chaddington and his team of wardens. And they still have a flying carpet. Okay. We'll use either Shatter or Thunder Wave, whatever you think would work mm -hmm. mechanically best to keep the hole open. Oh, slash gotta be make Shatter. Gotta be Shatter. Okay. And that's the ideal spell. Go ahead and cast it. We're going to see how much damage it does. It's, uh, it's from the Book perfect. of Seosh, so I don't have a clickable oh, thing. Uh, you're using that one. Okay, roll 1d6 for how much damage you take. Yeah. Necrotic damage and reduce it by half because you're resistant. Take three points of damage and roll 3d8. This is going to be doubled. Okay, 34. This is, again, the perfect spell to counter this mirror. It shatters open, holding it at bay for longer and widening it to 15 feet wide. Is there anything else you're going to do? Uh, overall, she's feeling pretty heartbroken that Ariana just like went back in the mirror. Um, Kind of like the same feeling when mm -hmm. Alex chose, you know, his decision over his friends mm. like back at the office. So she's very like 
conflicted and heartbroken right now. And on top of the Alex talking shit is definitely starting to send Garnet over the edge now. But uh, <laughs> we'll just stay quiet and hold through the shatter stuff. Dude, okay. Alex said this is what she wanted, which is like, yeah, it is. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why she's very, like, upset. <laughs> Okay. Uh, some of the horrible little monsters that were closing in earlier exploded. Some of them survived because of the uh, big old spell that was cast, but they are <laughs> rushing forward. Can they actually reach anyone? Yeah, they can reach the Afrit. Oh, uh, some housekeeping in terms of damage gnomes. Mm -hmm. The guy on fire needs to take 1d10 damage from being in within touch distance of uh, the elemental, as does oh, everyone else who enters five feet of the elemental. Oh, damn. All right, roll, roll 1d10 against this horrible little monster. The first one is for Warlock, second one yeah. is for this little guy. <laughs> that just pops it. It just runs forward and then roasts. It turns into <laughs> one of those cartoon roasts. Uh, if this guy walks past as well, we'll see how they do. <laughs> no, all of them, roll, roll three more times because all three of these little ones are just running towards it, trying to kill it. Well, another one instantly dies. All right, so the fire elemental is doing a good job of holding it at bay, and I'm just going to move them into position to see how far they can get. Do I have any more? Yeah, I have more. Yeah, just wait. They, they get hit again if they uh, if they hit the fire elemental. That's some crazy mechanics, man. Right? They suck to fight. Do I need to roll one more for this bad boy? Uh, yeah. Roll one more. Oh, he did me fracking <laughs> this time, didn't he? <laughs> two of them are bloodied, and two of them are just instantaneously roasted. Okay. Meanwhile, in the Plane of Mirrors. This. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Ariana, as you run down this corridor, it twists and turns back in on itself. And you come through an almost identical corridor, and I'm going to put these guys behind you. And uh, because I wasn't exactly planning on all of this, I'm going to need a moment to prepare this. But I'm going to show what you see up ahead. Uh, closer, please. There we go. Inside this exact same constellation of mirrors, you see Naomi again. But this time slumped over, not moving, can't even tell if she's breathing. Standing in front of you are two much, much larger Nera. They don't just look like people made of silver. They have different features. They are huge. Their bodies, their silvery bodies have formed into armor. They are wielding huge shards of swords, shaped shards of mirror instead of little pokies. And behind them is one that wears a black hood, a black cloak with a red lining underneath, looking very much like a smaller version of Imago himself. They stand between you and Naomi. The creature that was chasing you continues to chase you. It is now at the entrance to the corridor. That takes all of its movement. Back on the front lines. There's always load here. Ah. The battle mages open fire, blasting. Let's see. They're just going to blast a whole bunch of these little things because they only have 10 hit points each, and these guys deal lots of damage. So they unleash a blast of high-powered cantrips to fry as many of these creatures as they can to make sure that the academy wardens are their wardens and chattius are clear 
Other than that, and they're going to swoop down on the carpet to collect Chattius. Chattington. Okay. On Puavi's turn, he is going to withdraw. The Alips are going to focus all of their energy on three targets. Or, yeah, three targets. The Warden, Chad Chattington, and the Ifrit. I need the Ifrit to roll three wisdom saving throws. All right. Uh, sorry, lots of character sheets. That's all good. This one. Tr trust me, I know how that goes. DC 14. Okay, so that is... Did I say three? I meant four. Okay, that is one failed save. The Ifrit takes... Eleven psychic damage. And what is the Ifrit's reach? Uh, that is an excellent question. To it'll be on, no it'll be on the attack. It'll tell you how much reach is on the attack. Oh, uh, five feet or 120 feet on Hellflame. Oh, his melee is five feet. Huh, unlucky. Well, I'm not going to have him use that. <laughs> that sucks. And they're going to hit the Warden, who, because of a Warden card that was played earlier, gets advantage on these saving throws. Fails one of them. But isn't in hitting range. Can't do anything about that. And Chad Chaddington is going to make his saves. He, f he fails one of them, but he and he is going to be forced to smack one of the Academy Mages with his flail. Which he does not. It bounces off. Chad is still doing fine, by the way. Okay, it's Sventisco's turn. Sventisco is with... The rest of the party, and if they're in full retreat, she's basically along from the right. She's going to look over and cling to the back of the carpet and just glower at Alex with this very plastic look in her eyes, staring down the projected image. It's Alex's turn. Alex watching as Ariana jumps back into the mirror. Just a wicked smile across his face as he looks back towards Garnet and says, How does it feel to be wrong, Garnet, to so desperately cling on to your fantasies and watch as it all comes crashing down around you? And we'll Usually, be right... like, no, everything fit... Alex has said so far has, like, bounced off you know and because he knows like the herald is like trying to make her sad and all da, 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 da. but this time like she is very confused and upset and now this shit is starting to get to her so she's now getting more and more sad and mostly now starting to turn into anger is very seething at the moment we will allow Garnet to cope and seethe while we go to a short break. Don't worry, anybody. Book of Don Ioth Academy. We'll be right back. <laughs> 